Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna look at the top 30 idioms of the English language. You excited? Come on in. First, let me start by giving you the definition of an idiom. An idiom is a commonly used phrase or expression that means something different from its literal meaning. Here comes the first idiom, a bitter pill to swallow. It means an unpleasant experience that is difficult to digest. For example, my company has declared a 50% pay cut for all employees. That's a bitter pill to swallow. Coming at number two, all ears. It means a person is prepared to attentively listen to what someone has to say. For example, Joe, are you ready to hear my version of the story? Yes, Christine, I'm all ears. Number three, beat around the bush. It means speaking about topics that are irrelevant to the current topic. For example, let me know the real reason for the project's delay. Don't beat around the bush. Number four, bite off more than what you can chew. It means taking more responsibility than what one can handle. For example, I don't think you can arrange the conference all by yourself. Don't bite off more than what you can chew. Number five, bite the bullet. It means putting yourself through something that is unpleasant or difficult. For example, I don't want to go through with this surgery, but I'll just have to bite the bullet. Number six, burn the midnight oil. It means to work late into the night. For example, I have my math test tomorrow. I'll have to burn the midnight oil. Number seven, call a spade a spade. It means to call out the truth even if it means to be rude. For example, I don't care if he's my boss. I'm going to call a spade a spade. Number eight, call it a day. It means to decide or agree to stop doing something. For example, I'm really tired. Let's just call it a day. Number nine, couch potato. It refers to a lazy person who sits idle. For example, don't be a couch potato. Get up and do some work. Number 10, crocodile tears. It refers to an insincere or fake display of emotion. For example, I don't think she loves her uncle. That's crocodile tears. Number 11, don't count your chickens before they hatch. It means to not depend on something that has not happened yet. For example, wait till you get the job before you decide on buying the car. Don't count your chickens before they hatch.
Number 12. Elephant in the room. It refers to an obvious and difficult situation that no one wants to talk about. For example, let's talk about climate change. Let's bring out the elephant in the room. Number 13. Hit the nail on the head. It means to pinpoint the right answer. For example, the error was in the balance sheet. Jane hit the nail on the head. Number 14. Hit the road. It means to set out on a journey. For example, it's the long weekend. Let's hit the road. Number 15. Kick the bucket. It is an euphemism that denotes death. For example, I've decided to donate all of my organs when I kick the bucket. Coming at number 16, kill two birds with one stone. It means to solve two problems with one solution. For example, let's go to the mall. We can do some shopping and have our dinner. Killing two birds with one stone. Number 17, let the cat out of the bag. It means to reveal a secret by mistake. For example, I bought a new phone as a surprise gift for Toby's birthday, but Gina let the cat out of the bag. Number 18. Off the hook. It means to be free from an obligation or a difficult situation. For example, Ricky was caught by a police officer for speeding, but it was his lucky day. He was let off the hook with a warning. Number 19. Once in a blue moon. It means a rare occurrence. For example, John comes to the gym only once in a blue moon. Number 20. Piece of cake. It refers to an activity that's easy to do. For example, I took my TOEFL assessment this morning. It was a piece of cake. Number 21. Pulling someone's leg. It refers to teasing someone by telling a lie. For example, hey, don't worry. I'm not moving to New York. I was just pulling your leg. Number 22. Raining cats and dogs. It means raining very heavily. For example, I could not go for my run this morning as it was raining cats and dogs. Number 23. Rock the boat. It means doing or saying something that will cause problems. For example, we are about to close the deal. Don't say something now that will rock the boat. Number 24. Sail against the wind. It means to try and achieve something against known hardships. For example, Stephen Hawking made significant contribution to astrophysics despite suffering from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. He sailed against the wind.
Number 25. Take the bull by the horns. It means to deal with a difficult situation with personal involvement. For example, Sally's team could not convince the buyer. She took the bull by the horns and convinced them herself. Number 26. Take with a pinch of salt. It means to not completely believe what a person is saying because parts of it may be false. For example, Rita mentioned that she has implemented all the suggestions made by the board. Given her track record, let's take that with a pinch of salt. Number 27. Throw under the bus. It means to put someone in harm's way for personal gain. For example, be careful with Eddie. He has a habit of throwing his colleagues under the bus just to get promoted. Number 28. Through thick and thin. It means to be with someone through both good and bad times. For example, Jeannie is a good friend of mine. We have stayed together through thick and thin. Number 29. Under the weather. It is said when a person is feeling sick. For example, I won't be able to make it to work today. I'm feeling a little under the weather. Coming at number 30, last but not the least, the whole nine yards. It simply means everything. For example, don't leave out parts of the story. Tell me the whole nine yards. I hope you got value from this video. Put your favorite idiom in the comments below. Now I have a favor to ask you. Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified when my next video comes out. Can you do that? Until we meet in my next video, take care, bye bye.